Welcome to Precision Weigh and Balances. Today we'd like to give a demonstration of matching the internal calibration weight with external weights. We're going to be using a Sartorius CPA 324S. The first thing you need to do to perform the calibration and match the internal weight with external weights is to put the balance in the service mode. So I have another Sartorius CPA 324 here and I just want to show you there's a little cap here. This cap needs to be removed and when doing so there's a switch and we need to move the switch. I use a little tweaker screwdriver. You don't want power when you do this and you basically just move the switch over so the switch should be towards the RS-232 interface. This will put the balance into a service mode that will let us store the uh, external weight so it matches the internal. So first we'll power up our Satorius CPA 324S. Does the power up sequence. Out of the box the default is internal calibration. So if we press the cal button the balance lowers the internal calibration weight. We'll see C. Then afterwards we'll see CC to confirm that it's storing the value. And at the end of the calibration, it displays a number on the screen. That number is the delta or the difference from the last time the balance was calibrated. Okay, so it's showing here that the balance was right on the money. Okay, so what we have to do is we have to shut off the balance. And we have to get into the menu. We have to change it from internal cal to external cal. So we have to... Turn on the power, press the tear key once to get into the menu mode. The menu is presently set to 193 and we need to change it to 191. So to do this, we're going to press the print key to move it over to the right. And we have to change this 1 to a 9, so you press the cal key to increment up. So we have 191. We need to move over, so there's the default, is 193. We know that's what the balance is set to because there's a circle in the top right hand corner. We need to change this to a 1. So we press the Cal key, and now we have 191. We need to store this value. To store it, it's just one quick press of the tear key. Notice now there is a 0 in the top right hand corner. That means the value now stored for the balance is 191. By pressing and holding the tear key, we are resetting the balance to store that value. So now the balance is stored for external calibration. To perform the external cal, we simply press the cal key again, and it displays that we need 300 grams of weight. So I have a 200 gram and a 100 gram class 1 weight. Place that on the balance, close the doors. We'll see again, the balance will show C and then CC that it stored the value. And we have 300 right on the money. So now what we'll do is remove these weights. the graph shield. We need to power down the balance and we have to now put the balance back into internal calibration. So to do so, again we press the power button, quick press of the tear button. We need to change this to 193. So we're at 191. Press the cal key. We're at 193. We need to store the value. Quick press of the tear key. And now hold down the tear key to reset the balance with the new stored value. And so now we're in inter uh, now the balance is set for motorized internal calibration. What we have to do now is shut off the balance. This time we're going to turn the balance back on and then press the cal key. When pressing the cal key, you'll notice it says cal right here on the bottom. And so now, all we have to do to match the calibration is simply press the cal button. 
and you're going to see, again, it's just going to say C and then CC. And what the balance has now done is stored the value of the internal weights to match those external weights that we had just recently placed on the platform. And there you go. The balance goes to zero, zero. Now we'll take the weights to confirm. balances right on the money. This is the Sartorius CPA 324S, always in stock at balances.com. If you have any other technical questions, please give us a call. Thank you.